Welcome guys, in this video we will learn how to read an image, how to write it and how to display it using OpenCV and Python. These are the things which you should know before you go to apply some processing or computer vision on your image. So let's see how can we do this using OpenCV. So first of all I will create a new Python file. And I will name it as image reader. And then I will import the OpenCV module. And then I will read the image and for that I must have an image. So the image which I will be using here is this one. And I will read it using my Python program but you can use any other image if you want. To read the image I will use imread function from OpenCV. So here I will write img equals to and then I will use cv2.imread function and this will take one argument which is the path to the image. Now because the image exists in the same directory in which my python file exists so I will provide only the name of the image file which is image.jpg. But in case if the image is not in the same directory then you need to give the complete path. Now on running the program this function will read the image for us and then it will be stored in the img variable. So let's print the value of this variable and see what we get inside this. Now in the console window you can see that we do not get any image instead we get a huge matrix of number and these number are basically representing the pixels of our image. Actually what happened is that when you use the imread function then it converts our image into a matrix of number and these number are representing the pixels and their value are in the range from 0 to 255. And this is actually how the computer sees and understand an image. Now let's remove this. And the second thing we will learn is how to display the image. And for that we have I'm show function inside the OpenCV. So here I will write cv2 dot I'm show. And this will take two parameters. The first one is the name of the window. You can give any name you want and then you have to give the image and after this I will give some waiting time so here I will write cv2.waitkey function and inside it I will provide the time in millisecond. Now let's say I want to display the image only for 2 seconds then I will write here 2000 and then I will write cv2.destroyAllWindows and this will destroy the window of image. So if I run the code, you can see the image appears but only for 2 seconds. Now if you want the image to appear as long as you want, then you can simply replace the 2000 by 0. And if I run the code again, then the image will appear for an infinite amount of time and the window will not close unless you press any key. So if I press any key, let's say enter, then the window will be closed. Now let's see how can we write the image. For writing the image, OpenCV provides us with a function name as imwrite. So here I will write cv2.imwrite and this function will take two arguments. The first one is the name of the output file. You can give any name along with the extension. And then the second argument is the image which you want to write or save. Now let's run the code and see what happens. I will close this window by pressing any key. And if I check the current directory then I will find a file having the same name which I provided here. And if I open it, it is the same image which I wrote using my program. So this is how we can read, display and write an image using OpenCV. That's all for now. Thanks for watching this video.